Alrighty, starting out the day, heading to OFR, but I got a stop to make, and that's going to be Lori's house. What's up, Don? And she lives right here. There's Don, her old man. And I got some fish. I got those uh, zebra loaches to take back, a light to take back, and some plants. But I got a couple of lights for Lori. Oh, that was all a banana mm -hmm. plant. Really? All gone. Well, better late than never, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am sorry. I just happened to see your <laughs> ad yesterday, and I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm like, why didn't she call me? I'm like, is she mad at me? And I'm like, I got them. They're just Houdini, sitting here. Houdini, it's just... Bite them. Bite them. Yeah. Bite them. Yeah. It's just I was running around doing so much that I it just happens. totally forgot, so... Isn't she pretty? Yeah. Way bigger than I thought. <laughs> what size is this? 150. 150? Yeah. Okay. Then my 30 yeah. is my Tetris. But look at all the algae I was telling you about. I took a lot of it out yesterday. The sterilizer is not, see, there's no light on it. We all put right. a brand new bulb in it. I looked and I couldn't find it. I swear to God I got one unless I took it back to Rich already. But I'll look one more time. I still got another bucket. If I do, I'll bring it over. No Utrecht's problem. Utrecht's hiding. He's under there. Uh, yeah, I see. But, yeah, I gotta get... I, I, I took them to damn zebra loaches, and... I mean, I don't take the loaches out of Dawn's tanks because they eat the snails, and I Here. threw them in mine, and now get, I got get, no snails. Get this little gara. The video Rich put out this morning had... He mentioned in the mall... Those stands where the fish eat the skins and stuff off of feet. Oh, right. That's what the garas look like. That is one. I have six of them in here. Okay. There's another one down there. Yeah, I see That's it. what those are. Those are actually those fish. Hmm. All right, well. And the one I rescued from the, right there in August at the... He's still... Oh, okay. He's doing great. Yeah. He naps this time of day. <laughs> About five o'clock, he'll pick up again. All right, so we're going to hit our ass back out to OFR and get those okay. fish and plants taken care of. Yeah, I have to put that. Mm. Those are babies. Right. Stop get... it. Stop it. <laughs> back down in there. She knocked yeah. it out. Yeah, I want to hurry up and do this because we got <laughs> rain coming in around 4 or 5 o'clock. She knocked both of them out. My car does not do good in the rain. Do you guys ever go to that Mr. Chicken or over here? Do not go there. Is it that bad? You really? will get sick and die. Yeah, our really? kids work there. Huh? It's horrible. You've worked there for a while, my kid. And because Mr. Chicken's like one of the best places, mm. but I've never been to this don't. one here. Yeah, so. you don't. don't. One. <laughs> You'll get raw chicken and E. coli, salmonella. Yeah. All right, no Mr. Chicken here, but mm -mm. all right, we're going to head out and uh, go see Jerry. Which Stay way tuned. are you going? All right, she's got that. That made her happy. We'll get our butts down to OFR, get these fish taken back, and a couple of plants for Jerry to work on and somebody uh, <clears throat> somebody's got plants they said something about they got plants but they also said we don't have enough substrate if you remember Jerry showing you we're putting them in plants and uh, we're gonna we're actually gonna pot them so that we can move them into different aquariums so it doesn't matter trust me whatever they are we will make them work so if you got them we can use them walk in and Jerry's here of course doing his thing so Jerry there's two kinds here's that big one I was telling you about that's okay. what it is now I went ahead and took a toothbrush and tried to get as much of that algae out of the you, you know a good job that I, I could so uh, there's still a little in there obviously but oh that might be yeah, black. Nah, that's green algae okay and then there's that other one and this one's been floating so do there's a lot of roots starting on it, so you oh, can yeah. cut that in half probably, and get two little ones going. Oh, you do like this, you. Or, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think here's a new plant starting? There's already. there's a couple. There's one here. So what I would do is, yep. I would cut it here, put this part, the top, back in the dirt, let it start rooting. It's already got a couple little. Roots. Yeah. There's another one there. There's and I would cut it here, there. and let it put this in the dirt and let it start growing up. And then I would lay this down. Yeah, well, hell, there's new plants. Yeah. yeah. So you lay it down on the bottom. Yeah, that's why I did that, because it was floating on top. And all the ones will 
Yeah. How about being the new? It's yeah. eight, no, this one's going in my time. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, you brought this for me, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, this you is going up front. But that, you there's know. Not, there, yeah, there's... There, I mean, they curled up a little because they were out of the water. You, yeah, but you, you didn't do any damage. That... Now, what kind of plan is it, then? Other than the Nubius? Is it a Nubius? Yeah, it's a Nubius. Okay. All right. It's a nice form. I like the way the ver the leaves. Yeah, it, they like. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite the heart I thought they were, but yeah, too it's a bad. healthy, healthy plant. I mean, you yeah. Know, it's been just sitting in a empty 125, but like I said, I peeled off everything I could out of it. Yeah. But, and I had some people saying that you know. They had some swords and shit, but that we needed more substrate. I just told them on mine that no, we're planting them in the pots like you got there so yeah. they can be moved around. Oh, so they don't have enough sword straight. I'm familiar with how much sword straight they need. Yeah, how much substrate yeah. they need, yep. So yeah. I told everybody, hey, one, you got plans to bring them, we'll right take now them. only has half the substrate it's going to have. Right. And all the plants that are in there now are going to be going to be more substrate. Now I bought the three little ones. I couldn't find the big one. Now, I seen them, but I, all of a sudden I couldn't find them. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if he's in there or not. Pygmy change. He even brought you me know. a guppy. Uh, did I? Yeah. No. Uh -huh. right no piece of piece of just no no just a piece of. Oh, no shit. Yeah. There's a couple pieces of like the, uh, what is that shit, the... Uh, duckweed. Yeah, duckweed. There's yeah. a piece of that, That's a piece... That, that, yeah, yeah. That, that algae I used to win. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, pygmy chain loaches. Yeah. But I got them out of my tank, so... <laughs> Put them where you need. snail for a little dude, man. Yeah, he accidentally got in, probably was attached to the yeah, roots. There was quite a there. few attached to the roots of that thing. So, but yeah, well, that one's go, beautiful, I'm isn't it? And the yeah, color I'm is in there still. That in my tank right now. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might like that one. That was the best piece I had, actually. Yeah, I got two more guys that are right now. Yeah, I do too. But yeah. Jerry's got some plants going in here. For right now. Yeah, I'll put a couple of little pieces of rock on it. Mm -hmm. Weigh it down. So is this the same stuff I just gave you? I don't believe so. No? Okay. It looks so close to it. That one in the back ah, is close. Ah, maybe. Yeah. It's close. Yeah, it does have that rougher... the leaf on it. Yeah. Yeah, it does have that texture to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Just like that over there. And yeah. What kind is that? A Nubius back there too? Then it's Copiofolia. Ah. You notice how the roots are? I mean, the stems are brown rather than. That's why I don't think this is a Copiofolia. Hmm. But it's in that family. Neat. They, they they come in all different sizes. I mean, they come from all over Africa. And there's all different kinds of them. This one's got a longer lance tape. That's Bertoli. It's a little sword. I don't know if that's a big sword or not. But it's got a longer, flatter leaf. And they're not like the cryptocorns where they change their leaves to the tank. Yeah. For an apologist, for something like, for a, a Nubius like this, to die off completely takes a radical, nasty tank change. Right. Well, like I said, I've had that sucker growing and growing, and finally it was just so full, I stuck it in the 125, yeah. but it wasn't dead. I knew that. I wasn't going to let it die. I took the smaller piece. I got it in mine. So you yeah. get the bigger one. But, man, I just love that color on that plant, man. I think it's just so neat. It is. It's got a beautiful color. It really does. And I I've love it. And yeah, I'm using... Now, when you get that little guy over here, that red one, yeah, you get enough that you can give a piece I'll away. Give, I'll give you a piece. I'll get you a piece. I'd like a piece of that, please. You got it. You got it, you know. I got one floating that I'm trying to get. There it is. Just get it over here where it's not in the... All right, duckweed. 
add us some more yeah. of that lance leaf. Actually, that's just a loose leaf. But yeah, yeah, once you get some of that going, I would definitely like some of that. That'll add some more color. Yeah, I've got three more starts on that one. I just haven't I didn't get everything arranged in here, <laughs> and I'm not even positive I'm going to arrange everything in here. All right. I think it's going to end up pots and projects. I've got some little temporary pots, you know, that I'm thinking about just pulling a scoop of gravel out, poking them in, and setting the temporary pots in here. Right. But yeah. As long as I've got the system to do it. And where are you going to put that one in? Yeah, this one's going up in the living room. Ah. Yeah. Okay. In the richest tank then, the 150? Yeah, yeah, it's going in the 150. Cool. With Rich's permission. If he's yeah. not up and functioning, I'm going to put it right back in the water in some place. <laughs> um, is it in this tank? Yeah, see the red stems? Yeah, that I do. One back there? That's yeah. coffeeofolia. Yeah, I do see now the new leaves have got that veined look. Right. And they've got the red, you know, and that's yeah. the big lance. The leaves are just starting to turn and come back up again. And there's a Nubius Nana in the middle of it. Right. So we're it. trying to put that, yeah, we're trying right. to put that together as a centerpiece. And then this is the bigger lance. This is, actually is a piece of the same plant that I've got over in there. Cool. But we're trying to put that together as a centerpiece, mixing the Anubias. Right. Yeah. And Jerry was just showing, so this iridescent shark just came in today. The uh, really nice did you get the... Uh, the little cynod spotted Cynodonis. Which came in today, too. Where, where, where? Oh, 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 okay. Did he come in with that uh, iridescent no, thing? No, actually, uh, Rose brought him in. That's out of her 55 oh. dollars. Huh? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I gave her a fistful of duckweed for her 55, and I'm going to help her out with it. Okay. Stuff. Did you get the goldfish that uh, Shiloh wanted? Yeah. You found well, it? I know which one it is. Which one is it? I'm not going to. <laughs> it's like, really? Which one had a mustache? She's like, it's got a mustache. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's got a bust. <laughs> I, I need more information than that. I mean, they, uh, was she talking about the koi or? Right. No, it actually, once I really got a look at it. It's like, is that the one that, this uh, one that's got a mustache? One, yeah. Okay. She has he's black on the right. lip. Right, he's got black on the lip. Okay. Or oh, she's already named him Stachio or something like that. Yeah, all right. But so yeah, that's the one she wants. Okay. I hope so. It's the only one in here. She said it's the only one with the black on his lip. Right. And the other one is mostly black. At first I thought she was talking about the one that had the more color and the longer fin. I mean, that's the one I would pick out of there. There's mm -hmm. one of them, that, that one down there with the gold on his forehead. Right. I, I think that's about the best goldfish in there. With that gold on his head makes him... He's got a longer uh, proportion tail. Right. <laughs> All right, well, let's go get that up in front. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to put it in there without talking to Rich first. Okay, yeah, you can ask him later, but at least that can get into some water because it was out for a bit. Yeah, there you go, buddy. That's the kind of light I need. Let there be light. That's what I need on my tank. That's Aquala's brand new light system. Yeah, it is neat. They sent it for us to check out. It's different, that's for sure. Yeah, I can see a bit reflecting off the wall. <laughs> oh, man. I can grow some plants in here. Mm-hmm. Awesome. It's just I didn't want to sit in my tank anymore. It was just getting more algae and starting to, well, you know, I don't have no filter, no nothing on that tank, so. I'm not sure, we're not sure what we're going to do with this. I want to put the discus up here. 
Yeah, you said angelfish, and angelfish rich, and discus uh, rich, would be nice, man. Rich, rich, rich. Uh, Josh is okay with bringing the angels up here. Heck yeah. Or you don't want to bring the uh, loaches. They'd tear up the plants oh, right yeah. now. Oh, yeah. But the discus wouldn't tear up the plants. Mm -hmm. And if I put the discus in those two angelfish, we got that Bulgarian green angel and the white one. Yeah. And put those in there. I was cool. thinking about putting my lemon blue eye bristle nose in there. That breeding pair. Right. Those little and mouths in there would help with the algae control. Yep, and you might get a bunch more then in this tank. Well, got enough well room. hopefully, yeah, let me put a tube in there. All right, so I finally got those plants and the fish over here to Jerry, except for the one, I don't know what happened. I'll look for them. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I know. He's bitching because I'm going to film it and it's murky as hell. And the reason it's murky as hell because he just reached in. He had all these snails over here and he just gave me a whole bag of snails. So he went through both tanks. So that's why they're not clear. And he started, the first thing he did was start it, you know. <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, we'll look at it next time I come. But no, I just wanted to say that luckily... Uh, because, like I said, my snail population got devastated, so he gave me some to help replenish. I got some, and now that I brought over the, the loaches again, you know, I shouldn't have that problem anymore. So I'll take these home and uh, put them in my tank. Thanks, Jerry. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you're welcome. And then uh, we're going to leave that over there, or he can put it in the 150. Uh, Big Rich is getting ready for the live show. It is Fishy Friday. Uh, he's going to bring the angels up and get them into the front, and they're going to do that too. All right.